today we're going to talk about the four different mounting methods of a ball bearing. And we say a ball bearing, mounted bearing, meaning the bearing insert in the housing being mounted. So typically this is how you receive the unit. They're assembled all here in Charlotte. But to go through the four methods, let's just review them. So this would be a ball bearing insert with set screws, probably the most common and recognized shaft attaching method in the industry. Equally as common, though, is one with an eccentric locking collar. So two matching eccentrics, when twisted into place, will lock the bearing to the shaft. A third one, and probably a little more refined, is a concentric collar. So tangs on the extended inner ring of the bearing would lock down in a concentric manner when the locking collar is tightened in place. This would give a slightly more balanced effect for the shaft within the bearing, maybe more ideal for higher speed applications. And the fourth mounting method is using a tapered adapter sleeve, and it will come assembled as you receive it, but it consists of a tapered adapter, and then a locking washer, and a locking nut, and all this can be assembled then onto the shaft, and as this adapter is tightened, it will grip the shaft in the most concentric manner. So sort of in looking at all four styles, the first two being the most common and found and easiest to assemble, the third one being a concentric grip to the shaft, and the fourth an adapter type that is almost a perfect fit to the shaft because it conforms ideally. There are no other shaft attachment methods and other than a shrink fit to the shaft, but these four you will find very common, and there is a price difference between all of them. The beginning two are probably the most cost effective, where the last two are gonna be a little bit more just because of additional hardware, and they do take a little bit more time to install, but there are some added benefits as a result.